Hey guys, thanks for coming by to see what I am up to today. I've just recorded some video to answer the question I often hear, how'd you get that wire in that tree? First, I wanna give a shout out to KG0ZZ, Dave Tadlock. His videos on YouTube have uh, provided endless help for me and I always enjoyed watching them from the beginning since I was a technician. Callum McCormick, M0MCX, the DX commander himself, his explanations bring clarity when other people just add more confusion. And Adam, K6ARK. I never hear Adam's last name, but um, his antenna bills and the way he explains things helps me out as well. It goes without saying that there's more than one way to skin a cat. And this video is for the newbie uh, who has no idea about where to start. If you already know how to get a wire in a tree or if you don't want to see another technique, this video is not for you. So I talked a bunch of times in the video that will follow about the Arborist throw bag or box. And this is the Weaver Arborist throw line storage cube and throw line storage bag. Both the bag and the cube have their own characteristics and both have their own benefits get one of each and you can choose which one to carry or use depending on your situation for that outing that day. Inside the bag, this particular unit I have the uh, waxy string type throw line and a 14 ounce weight. I keep them in the bag so I always know where they are. The bag sort of folds the way your windshield sun shade folds with a twist. So I just put my foot on the lower part and I use the arrow to indicate which way I should turn the bag to open or close it. In the video I also discussed the Night Eyes Carabiner styled S-clip. Here in this uh, throw line storage bag, I have a rounded nylon type throw line. And again, I happen to use a 14 ounce notch weight. Uh, I bought them before I knew any better, and I kind of like them. Uh, pretty sturdy, I understand they're uh, double bag, double walled, and filled with buckshot, and very sturdy. So let's get this antenna into the tree. Hey guys, I have two versions of the Weaver throw bag, throw line, and a weight. Uh, this one is a simple box that's uh, expandable. This is how it works. Make sure the bottom doesn't get away from you and give it a twist in the direction of the arrows for open. Inside the bag, you'll have your line laying in such a way that it won't get tangled. Just drop that on the ground attach your weight. I attach the weight with the uh, night eyes type clips. I've got a 16 or sorry a 14 ounce notch weight but that's too heavy you don't need that. So I just take the weight, run the line through it and you see different versions of this. Some people advocate tossing it this way. Some people go the David and Goliath method. I have no control this way. I found that uh, whatever my upper body strength is, the best method I have is to put the tree directly behind me, make sure that the rope won't catch on my feet or my clothing or anything that's with me, make sure I'm not going to hit anything, and just give it a toss comes down on the other side. Now, the method we're gonna look at today for attaching the antenna is we're not gonna use this to pull a, a line through the tree. We're just gonna use this line, tie our antenna about right here, and use the other end to pull our antenna up. Now, whether your antenna ends up a vertical because you got a real tall tree, or a sloper 
coming down to a bench, picnic bench say, or if it's an inverted V. The best antenna that you can get is the antenna that you have up and that's working for you. My favorite antennas are the NFED Halfways, the, specifically the KSIC ARK antennas made by Adam and designed by Adam. And uh, one I designed uh, earlier on before you put the kits out with the traps and the other one I just put together from one of the kits. I didn't design the antenna, I built the antenna from his design. And both antennas fit nicely, I think, into these oversized pill containers. So we'll leave end, one end right here. We'll take one end of the antenna and just attach it right here to this near side of the throw line. We're gonna hope that it untangles nicely. We'll go over to the other side of the throw line and haul her up. Now, had this been a taller tree, this might have been near vertical. Again, a shorter tree, it's gonna be a sloper. In this case, I got a little bit of an inverted V going, but either way, I know this antenna works. If you want to take the antenna down, it's just the opposite. There's my Amazon guy, or girl. Either way it goes, I love Amazon. I don't wanna speak out of turn because the moment I say it, it's gonna backfire on me, but I love this number 26 wire. It, uh, especially when you're winding in this figure eight pattern, it uh, tends not to tangle. Specifically, that's the uh, number 26 poly stuff. You can find that at the ham radio outlet. Now with that number 26 wire, that whole 40-20-10 antenna with the winding coil fit nicely right into this oversized pill container. Again, two workable and fed half waves in the palm of my hand. When I put this antenna away, go take the weight off. And again, for that purpose of attaching the weight and for attaching the antenna when I pull it up, if I pull it on the other way, I use these Night Eyes S-clips. One of the reasons I really like this bag is when you pull the, the antenna down, you can just wrangle the wire right into the box. Sorry, not the wire, wrangle the uh, throw line right into the bag, the box. Clip the weight on so that you have it later for safekeeping. Give your cube the appropriate twist to close it down or cinch up your sack and storm away. Hey guys, thanks for stopping by and I look forward to uh, seeing you on the next video.